What is up guys, it is me Squiggly Squid and today I have found a better way to talk and play music through your microphone at the same time. And the method I am about to show you guys is a million times better than trying to mess with a program like Voice Meter. And that program, that, pro that program makes me want to punch a hole through my freaking monitor. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into these steps really quick. And it's very simple. Step number one. Go ahead and make a Google search for OBS install and you're going to want to click on the first link that shows right here which shows you download OBS studio. Secondly, you are going to want to go ahead and download the installer. It's pretty simple. You're just going to want to click on it. It's going to download right here. Uh, so, uh, sometimes your browser might block the download. You just want to allow anyway. So we're going to click on keep. and. It's done, so let's go ahead and open this up really quick. So a setup wizard should appear after you opened up your installer. What you're going to want to do is click next. And since I already have this installed, I don't need to do any of this, but it should ask you where or what drive that you want OBS software to be installed on. Just click on your desired drive that you want it on and click next and it should instantly do the uh, download for you. Step number two. Another thing you guys are gonna want to install is a tool called VB Audio Cable. And you're gonna wanna go to the first link here. Gonna wanna click on it. And then it's going to take you to this website right here. And you're gonna want to install the Windows version, unless if you are on a Mac, of, of course. So we're gonna click download. And as you guys can see here, it has instantly uh, downloaded. The next thing you guys are going to want to do is add a new folder to your desktop screen. And for example, I'm going to name this folder Cable File. And I'm going to click Enter. And this is the folder right here. You guys are going to want to extract that zip file that you guys just installed from VB Audio Cable. Now go ahead and go to your download folder and then from here you want to find your VB audio cable. Go ahead and right click on it. Go to extract all. Go ahead and click on the browse button. Go to your desktop tab and it's going to show you all of your files here that you currently have on your desktop screen. Go ahead and click on your cable files and click on select folder. Then after that, you can go ahead and click on extract. And after you extract it, this new, uh, this new window is going to pop up here. And you're going to want to scroll down until you find the file called VB cable underscore setup underscore x64. You're going to want to double click on that and it's going to take you to another uh, setup wizard and from what I remember I think it's going to ask you again you know what uh, what drive you want to install the VB audio cable at and then you click install and it should do everything else on its own. Step number three. Oh wait hold on I can't do the three with this hand uh yeah uh three there we go now since we have everything installed we are going to go ahead and start setting up our obs and currently i am recording off of obs so you're going to already see stuff set up on my software and disregard uh all of this stuff this is just the stuff that i am currently using to record and whatnot but Usually when you first open this, it's going to start off on a black screen, which is fine. If you're not looking to make any vi any uh, videos and you're using this program for the sole purpose of just talking and playing music through your microphone at the same time, then you don't really need to do much of like any of this. So what you're going to want to do from here is go to where it says mic and aux right here. And you're going to want to go to the three dots right where my finger is. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the three dots. Click on where it says properties. Click on this drop down menu. And you're going to want to find your microphone from this list right here. So for me, it's going to be virtual desktop audio. After that, you're going to want to click OK. And then as you can see, my voice is being registered through the colorful line thing right here. It's like going up and down, and that's how you can tell that it's uh, that it's working. 
So after you set up your mic, now it's time to set up your desktop audio. So it's gonna be things like your game or any other sound that you want uh, coming through your microphone. So to get your desktop audio set up, you want to go to where it says desktop audio right here. And then you wanna to go to the three dots right here. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that. Go to properties. And from here, it's like set it, setting up your mic. Go to the drop down menu and whatever device that you're using to uh, listen to like your game audio or your music audio and whatnot, you want to click on that de uh, device. So for example, for me, it would be virtual desktop. But like say if like you were wearing like headphones like your Astros or your Logitech or whatever uh, device that you have here, you're, you're going to want to find it in this list right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my virtual desktop audio because I'm using virtual desktop and I'm going to click OK. And now when I go down here, we can test to make sure that our sound is going through OBS by moving this soundbar and just dragging it on the top and letting it go. As you can see, when I let go of this soundbar right here, you can see the green bar right here go up and down. I can do it again. Right there. Uh, that's how you can tell that your desktop audio is going through your OBS. So now we already have that set up, so there's nothing else you would need to do there. After you have set up your desktop audio, the next thing you want to do is go all the way to the bottom right to right here where it says settings. You're going to want to click on your settings. And this uh, window is going to pop up right here. And what you want to do from here is go on the left and you're going to see things like general, stream, output, and whatnot. Go ahead and click on the audio tab. Oops, not output, your audio audio tab and you're gonna want to scroll down to the advanced tab and for you guys you guys are gonna see the monitor the monitoring device set to default go ahead and set your monitoring device to your cable input and then click apply and then click OK now the reason why we have set the monitoring device to cable is because that cable input is what we're going to be routing all of our audio through. So whether that may be your game sound, your music, and your voice at the same time. It might sound a little bit complicated right now, but as I explain this, uh, you guys will get a better understanding of what I mean. Step number four. Now it is time for us to set up our audio pass through. And pretty much what this does is we are selecting which audio that we want going through our microphone just so that we do not have any echo problems. So I'll show you guys how to do that really quick. So you're going to see something right here that says mic slash aux right here. You're going to want to click on these three dots right here. I'm going to click on that and you're going to want to go to advanced audio properties. And when we get this open, you're going to see something like this. You're going to see desktop audio, your mic and aux, and these two are going to be set to monitor off. The only thing that we are changing here is the mic and aux. You're going to want to click on that. You're going to want to click on monitor and output. And then you're going to click close. Now it is time for us to route our music applications through OBS. Now what you guys are going to want to see here is something that says sources right here and then right below it you're gonna see this plus symbol right here you're gonna want to click on that and then at the very top you're gonna see something that says application audio capture beta you're gonna want to select it click OK and then for example I am running Spotify so I'm gonna click on this drop down menu right here and find where it says Spotify.exe I'm gonna click on it and just a heads up, um, if you guys do not see your music application in the drop down menu, make sure that application is open and running. And if it still doesn't show up, play a, like, uh, play a song from the application just once and then pause it and then try setting this up again and it should show up the second time. But yeah, I'm going to click on Spotify since this is what I want my music going through and then I'm going to click OK.
Now the next step is you're going to want to go to the, au the audio mixer and you're going to see something that says application audio capture beta. This is something that we just set up and you want to go to the three dots right here and, and click advanced audio properties. Now go to where it says application audio capture beta and go all the way to the right where it says uh, audio monitoring. We're pretty much doing the same thing like we did before. You're going to want to click on monitor and output for the application audio capture. Then after that, you can click close and now the music should be going through your microphone. All right, so now we are in VRChat. I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this set up. Now, just letting you guys know, it's not going to be your normal microphone that you use, but instead it's going to be the cable output that we have set as the monitoring device for OBS. This is what you're going to be using as your microphone when you're running uh, OBS through it. So you can see here, my voice is going through the cable. And then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to uh, start playing a song through, um, through Spotify. So one second, let me go ahead and get this playing really quick. I'll, I'm going to turn this down because I don't want to blast anybody's eardrum. All right. All right, so as you guys just heard, the audio sounded glitchy, and I just found this out while editing. The easy fix to do this is to turn off your desktop audio. Turning off your desktop audio will make it to where only the application audio capture beta will be playing the music, because since we had both of the desktop audio and the application audio capture playing music at the same time, that's what caused, uh, that's what caused you guys to hear what was double audio. So yeah, just turn off your desktop audio and that should fix the issue. Let me go ahead and see if it's going through. And as you guys can see, it's being registered. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, so as you guys can see, everything is now going through our cable output device. So yeah, so pretty much that is how you set up your voice and music audio going through your microphone. And keep in mind, this works for mostly any other game. Like, for example, if you're wanting to, you know, troll people on Call of Duty by playing audio through your microphone, you can do so by doing the same method that we just did and switching your input to your cable output. And yeah, uh, that is it. Uh, that's it for my tutorial on how to play music through your microphone and talk at the same time. And I hope I was able to explain everything well. And um, of course, if you guys have any issues, do not hesitate to comment down in the comment section and let me know what issues you guys are having so I can better as assist you guys on fixing it. Another thing I want to say is thank you to everybody who supported this channel. Today, we just hit a thousand subscribers and I am beyond happy that I have this many people supporting my channel and yeah <laughs> I don't know um I was able I, I was able to help so many people with like you know tech uh tech to tech tutorials like you know videos like this you know like setting up full body tracking or that uh, other video about playing music through your microphone. I guess this is just a better t a tutorial on playing music through your microphone and talking at the same at the same time. So yeah, that's another example. And I don't know, like guys, I just I I, I just like helping people. Uh, that's kind of one of the bigger purposes of this YouTube channel is so that I can help other people trying to set up tech related stuff like full body tracking, uh, microphone. Just anything that is tech related that doesn't really have a good tutorial for, that's kind of what I like to do because if there is something that you can do but there's not many tutorials out there on how to get that thing set up, that's just what I like to do. I like to make the tutorial to just get it working. But once again guys, I hope this video was able to help you guys uh, be able to play music and talk at the same time through your uh, my uh, microphone. And yeah, uh, any issues that you guys have, just comment down below and I'll try my best to assist you guys any way possible. But 
I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Thanks you, thank you guys again for 8,000 subscribers. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.